Hi all, very good morning. The topic which we are going to discuss in today's video is differential thermal analysis, which is also known as DTA. On my last today, we discuss about thermogrammetric analysis, which is known as TGA. These both are different techniques. Both these techniques, both TGA and DTA, are come under thermal analysis. The main speciality of TG DTA or differential thermal analysis that is today's topic is what are the uh, limitations faced by TGA which will be overcome by differential thermal analysis. So I think that before we are discussing in the diff uh, topics under differential thermal analysis let us discuss the limitations of thermogravimetric analysis that is the topic uh, which we learnt yesterday so the limitations of thermogravimetric analysis is given below the first limitation is it will not give information regarding phase change transformations like melting point crystallization temperature because these transitions do not involve weight change what thermogrammetric analysis is This analysis technique is mainly used to, to study a reaction having weight change or mass change. Calcium oxalate in component is weight to change. That weight to change is used to study the thermal analysis technique. We study the calcium oxalate. Let us assume that we there is no mass change. We cannot use that. This is the melting point. Let us assume that we 1 kg of ice. This 1 kg of ice is melted. What is the mass of um, water obtained from 1 kg of ice? Without any doubt, I can say that that is 1 kg. Ice is a liquid item. It is a physical change. Shall we study that is using TGA? No, because there is no mass change. So, in any chemical reactions, physical changes, the suitable method is DTA. So, the first limitation is we cannot study a chemical or physical changes do not have any weight change. Similarly, I can say that it cannot be used to study fusion reactions, crystallization transition, solid state reactions. Because the reason is, these all reactions having no weight change. So, those reactions having no weight change, it, the, it, that reactions can be studied using today's topic that is differential thermal analysis, also known as DTA. Differential thermal analysis is a method of thermal analysis in which the temperature difference between the sample under investigation and the inert material, delta T, is measured as a function of temperature change. The differential thermal analysis is the components. The first one is reference, second one is sample. Reference in the material, that reference material do not undergo any physical or chemical changes during the study temperature period. But sample can undergo physical or chemical changes by keeping the mass constant. Mass is temperature might plot the same person. What do we do? We have temperature temperature difference. And the example I am by am. And the guy reference R and the reference wonder. Yes, and the way and sample wonder. Sample were umber the degree of imbo, other solid dietary in the sun, melty in the sun, liquid item or no sangle pig. And in the yana, eat under southern water, or a heat to go to the Nanjan Sudakana. And room temperature noki, and in the im temperature and the other fifty degree, and sorry, thirty degree ana, random. The difference in temperature delta T. About degree delta T in the zero one. We end up reaction forty degree T. Near and in a temperature noki. Then to forty degree temperature change delta T is equal to zero. Forty degree zero gotum. Apo now I got a straight line. When the temperature become fifty degree, the reference temperature become fifty 
and sample temperature become 50. But Korchanering would carry him and do it on the Maybe some reference in the temperature of 52 at the Karinapo. Sample in the temperature is about 50 at the Tananicum. Karanda, the sample absorb more amount of heat to convert the component from solid state to liquid state. Mass changes on both. But during that physical change, some amount of heat is absorbed. Due to that, in the Sambhavikim, there is a difference in temperature. Delta T not equal to zero. But this temperature is not equal to zero. This not equal to zero. That temperature is not equal to zero. That is not equal to zero. And this study is mainly termed as differential thermal analysis. That's why I'm saying that differential thermal analysis is a method of thermal analysis in which the temperature difference between the sample under investigation and reference material, delta T, is measured as a function of temperature. Then T marumbo, what is the change in delta T? And that study is known as differential thermal analysis. Similarly, as in TGA, here also we are heating the sample from or some heating the components from room temperature to 1200. As the temperature increases, physical or chemical changes may be happen for the molecule. Temperature there is a chance of getting physical or chemical changes. If reaction take place in the sample, that compound releases some amount of energy or the compound absorbs some amount of energy. So we can say that the delta T at that situation not equal to zero. Then that delta T at that and every continuously we are plotting a graph between delta T versus T. And that our graph in we get some information, and that plot is known as differential thermogram. Okay. If exothermic reactions is taking place, no heat up equilibrium and exo. But some people give the term reference in the temperature ne karum kudal temperature ari gani kum sample gani kum because sample heat ne kudu karna. Upon the reference number sample minus reference temperature delta T become positive. Upward If the reaction is an endothermic reaction, the sample absorb temperature from the system. The resultant temperature become lower than that of reference material. Then delta T become delta T is less than zero. Up in the way, we go to downward curve. From a, a graph, the, if, uh, in a DTA, if upward curve, that indicate delta T, uh, you know, that indicate uh, exothermic reaction. If it's a down curve, we can say that that is an endothermic reaction. Then the main importance is that whatever would be the area under DTA, that is the enthalpy change of the process. Enthalpy change of the rainbow, heat change of the process, we can say that. Okay, transition, fusion, vaporization, sublimation, dehydration, decomposition, these all are examples for endothermic. No varana samet, but number reaction at the water number melty, melting no varana samet and dana, other no varana, or dana, sublimation. Other than the heat number of sobina. Other than the parana, we can say that it is an endothermic reaction. Carpur and Katigino. That is a sublimation reaction. That is a heat nap. So, that is a fusion, vaporization, dehydration, decomposition. This reaction is okay. This DTA is a downward reaction because it is an endothermic reaction. It is an endothermic reaction. Oxidation, crystallization, polymerization is an exothermic reaction. This reaction is okay. DTA is a high upward reaction. Okay, let us discuss the instrumentation. As comparing with the number TG, but it's very big, DTA symbol are because most of the components are same. The first thing is, uh, let us, I am trading the components first. The first one is the power source. Second one is temperature programmable furnace. Third one is sample. Fourth one is reference. Fifth one is NVMe controller unit. Sixth one is thermocouple. Seventh one is thermocouple 2. Eighth one is amplifier. Ninth one is output. Let us explain what are the uses. What do you mean by power source? 
I explained this detail on the previous video. Power source is the source which produces power for the instrument. Which means we are giving well, the electricity provided in the unit on power source. Then we know what you mean by temperature programmable furnace. We know that. Temperature programmable furnace, it helps to maintain the temperature of the instrument according to the requirement. Which means, we have to the temperature Normally, it is increased from 10 degree to 50, 5 degree per minute or 5 degree per minute. Now, same, this is the same thing which is used in DTA. Sorry, TGA. Third one is reference. We are keeping the same reference and sample both in this temperature programmable furnace. That is the main change. Then, uh, fifth, uh, fifth one is the environment control unit. We know that. What is the requirement which is needed? Uh, if we require a particular inert atmosphere, then we are providing that. That is, the environment control unit is used to provide suitable environment for us by providing helium, nitrogen, etc. Then, what do, we say, what do you mean? Six and sevens are thermocouple. Thermocouple means actually we can call it as it is temperature sensor. They are temperature sensors which measure the temperature. And seventh one is amplifier, amplifier and uh, last one is output. So we can say that simple. Anna. First of all, the source will produce a particular power to the um, instrument. Then the instrument will begin to become heat. That is controlled by temperature programmable furnace. Inside the temperature programmable furnace, there are two uh, holders, one sample holder and one reference holder, both consisting of a sample and a reference respectively. What will be the requirement of the environment? It will be provided by environment controller unit. The temperature become increased and that temperature will be decoded by, recorded by 6 and 7. Both are thermocouple 1 and thermocouple 2. Which means, in most cases, reaction in the case of the temperature of thermocouple 1 and thermocouple 2. The two in the same temperature. When the taking place, reference in the difference in temperature with the sound. And this both data will be given to uh, what uh, amplifier to amplify the data. And the amplifier give the instruction or the output to um, the data to output. Output on the unit chain, delta T. Team, team which is a graph plot team, and that graph is known as therm differential thermogram. Same one once again the um, some power source, temperature programmable furnace, sample, reference, environment controller unit. This is thermocouple 1, thermocouple 2, amplifier, and reference. Sorry, output. Then let us discuss the limit applications. It is used to measure the thermal stability of a compound, same as for the DTGA. And DTA give information such as melting point, transition temperature of crystalline subjects, substances. Because other mass conservative conservative reactions are that cannot be used in this uh, cannot these reactions or this change cannot be studied using TGA. And uh, endothermic and exothermic reactions process can be distinguished to using this paranam. Upward garvanagil, the exo arigum, downward garvanagil, that is uh, endo arigum. Endal pitch change can be estimated by counting the peak area. Peak area in Namka, Iparendu and Dudikamatum. Characterization of polymer. It is given information about glass transition temperature, melting point, decomposition temperature of polymer, etc. Study the decomposition temperature of inorganic solids, etc. So this is about the TGA. Just uh, you have to study what about the instrumentation and what is the difference between TGA and DTA. Thank you. Thank you all.